So um, we're just going to take the bus for a spin and do a, a trial trip out to a place called Rover Park which is a little bit west of uh, Casino uh, on the way to Tenerfield. And um, you know this is how the deal goes, you know, you, get up, you plan a trip right, you know, you, you, you think about it and you think about well, you know, is it all worth it, you know, all the planning and all that sort of stuff and getting it ready. We've been doing that for the last two days, getting the bus ready tyres, oil, checks, clear out all the crap, you know, throw in a couple of mattresses for beds and, and hook up the fridge so we've got a fridge and because I want all the things to be working, the cruise control and all that's going good, right? And then we went and picked up a motorbike uh, trailer, got the bikes on the back and um, anyway, and so it's tiring stuff, you know, so before you even go, you're like you're tired, you know, and it's like a bad hair day, you know, whoa! And it's about six o'clock now on a Sunday, and we're just going to go tonight. We're going to pull up the side of the road, however far we get, and just and just sleep out. Hopefully, wake up in the morning on a beach somewhere, cook some eggs, eggs and bacon on toast, and um, yeah, all all will be good. Yep. Until then, though, I'm just bloody tired, really. Johnny Motorhome Builder Camp by the Billabong. Actually, I don't know where I might be, but I know there's a windmill out beyond the back of me. Right now, I've got to go and do my morning pee. One to Jolly Swagsman. One to Jolly Swagman. One to Jolly Swagman. That should be me. Too early in the morning. You're getting, um, you know, a solar charge at the moment um, and that's the sun over there out in the fog at 7 in the morning Right, well, just a couple of things I want to talk about today You see, some things I have found out as we've been driving around and we've been parking in the sun and it's been very hot so you need to have very good strong window tinting and also some paint on the roof to give you to heat as well that's what we're talking about today. All right, well, just a couple of things I've noticed um, already just in this little practice trip uh, that I've learned that, um, that we need to do and stuff or whatever. Um, just a few things. Does that make any sense? Okay, I'll get to the point. Point is some things, yeah, window tinnings for one, nice dark tinning in the morning. All these windows in a coaster bus, it's so bright. Uh, you definitely got to sort that out. Dark window tint and some blinds. Um, also, the, I reckon the magnetic um, ching ching uh, mosquito screen, you know, screen thingies, made magnets that stick on the outside. Uh, that's a definite, definite double plus there, A plus. Uh, what else? Um, I also reckon that, um, like when you're parking in the sun, it's, it gets quite hot. And so, um, if you're in the sun out in the outback, there's no trees. Uh, we well, have got plenty of sun, so you can just. You know, tear into the solar panels and just get the air conditioning going and she'll be all beaut. Uh, but in around the coast here, like I'm parked in the shade of a tree here at the moment and my solar panels are working, but I mean obviously they wouldn't be working as good. And so, um, you know, I forget what I was going to say, but I'm just weighing all these different things up and I reckon that getting the, the roof painted with some uh, solar paint, a good window tinning, um, good solar panels, yep. Yeah, Ellie's laughing in the, in the background. No, she's watching a movie, so I thought I was funny and I'm not. <laughs> right. Well, we're here at Rover Park again on the way out towards Tenterfield, which is in New South Wales. And that's the bus. There's the bikes. This is a 4,000 acre motorbike park. Um, how do you say this? Cross natural native wildlife 
thoughtful joint as well. Basically what I'm trying to say is this is not just a park where people just come and just rip it up recklessly without any thoughts to the native bushland. And that's a good thing. So anyway, so I like the place. It's good. And there's creeks. They've got a big dam with a slide. <coughs> lots of stacks of kangaroos over here in the distance. And uh, it's really beautiful. They've had lots of rain. And yeah, this is Rover Park. Yeah. <laughs> well, some good news, I'm not doing a milk advertisement for Norco, um, that's actually Paul's milk. Uh, what I'm doing is saying that the, all the milk is actually frozen, so the fridge, that was overnight, uh, just running off the, um, off the house batteries on, in the fridge, so that's a good thing because you know, if I get all the whole deal working, that things get frozen, it means you can free camp for months, so that's a good thing. So we're on our third day and, the, and things have gotten colder and colder and frozen up. Good cold fridge means nice fresh salmon. We're on the third day and this has just been in the nice cold fridge. It's perfectly beautifully chilly fresh, cold, yummy. And it's another beautiful day at Rover Park. Oh! <laughs> Do it Tarzan. Do the big call thing, man. Bring in help. Oh, heading back home now, folks. As they say, there's no, no place like home. But I'll tell you, there ain't no feeling like going away. I reckon the tops are still. Just another quickie. There's always time for a quickie. Um, I've got the motorbikes on a trailer that I hired from um, a trailer hire place. Right. And what I found is that um, you know, going down to like a small a, a track or a road and there's just a small area, turning around it's just like <laughs> no good. So um, I'm pretty confident now that the two motorbikes, um, actually on a motorbike carrier attached to the back of the bus, is going to be the go for me. And I know there's, um, yeah, there's a couple of things here. Uh, there's always a, you know, a lot of different ways to skin a cat. Uh, but secondly, I really don't think that anyone should be skinning cats anyway. And so, um, you know, there's different ways of doing things is the bottom line.